What's up my achievement dudes, Mayhem Blizz, we're playing Open Roads for the 41000G. It's on Xbox Game Pass, so if you got that chappy, pick this up. I've had two playthroughs of this game to make sure we are only interacting with items that are completely necessary, and we'll be copying the 41000G in just 30 minutes. You're going to start by heading into Options, Gameplay, and change your text speed to Custom, and you're going to change that to Fast to get through the dialogue quicker, and then you're good to start the game. We're going to start in Tess's room. We first need to zoom with the left trigger on this photograph and then right bumper to flip it over and the Y button to read it. We're then good to press the X button to pack it away. And for our first achievement, we need to pack away all of the items in her room. We're going to look to the left and pack away the geode, then the birthday card. And then we're going to do a 180 and pack away the poster and then the power block below it and then the hairbrush on the box to the left. Over to the chest of drawers, we're gonna pack away the photo pin to the side of it. And then the first drawer, pack away the bracelet and the Tamagotchi. Oh, right. I was supposed to feed you. The second drawer, we're gonna pack another birthday card. On top, we're going to pack the orange and the strawberry shaped erasers and the note. Then to the left, we can pack another poster, then open the closet and pack the yearbook. Over to the desk, we can pack away all of the items left of the computer, minus the lamp and the ticket. and then pick up and pack the four items in the first drawer. And then the report card from the second. And then the book and the hair clips from the third drawer. Once you've got those, we're gonna pick up the calendar from the wall and then over to the table, we're going to pick up all of the items on top, minus the cup, and then the birthday card and the jar below it. And then pick up and pack all of the items on the board above it. And then we can find two items on the floor near the bed. We're going to find Mr. Hippo and a pen. And then we can find this toy bunny above the bed. And then once you've collected all of the items, it will automatically fade to black and you'll get the a lot to unpack achievement for 90 Gs. We're now going to head downstairs. We're gonna press and hold the A button to leave and then you'll have some dialogue to mash through. So now head upstairs and into the kitchen. To your right, you want to open both the fridge and freezer doors and you can start walking away to initiate some dialogue and you'll get the Born in a Barn achievement for 60 Gs. So head past the dining room and in the living room you can find this bin. We're going to pick up the cup from within it to initiate another bit of dialogue and that will get us the Just Checking It Out achievement for 60 Gs. Why not? It's in the well, stop. <sighs> Once done, we're going to head upstairs, which will initiate some more dialogue. And then we're going to head back upstairs again. We're going to wrap yourself around and interact with the attic hatch. After that dialogue, we're going to head into the bedroom to the right and interact with the right door on the wardrobe and cop that pole. We're going to head back and use that on the attic hatch. And then now we're in the attic, we're going to wrap around these boxes and remove this sheet. And this will get us the suitcase to interact with. You can interact with the pictures. Ah. Oh. 
your family. And then move the sheet. Then interact with the postcard. Was grandma and then the diary. Grandma's We're gonna open the diary with the right bumper. Then right bumper again to move the letter out of the way to reveal a key. And then we're gonna press X to speak to our mum about it. That will end out the level and get you the problematic, very clever, achievement for 50 Gs. Now in the card, we're gonna turn and speak to your mum. And then after that long dialogue, we're gonna interact with the radio to ask to turn it on. So then turn the radio on and seek up until you get to the radio station 106.7 and then you're going to wait for some dialogue to start and then after that dialogue you will get the signal achievement for 60 G's. Immediately after that you'll want to interact with the air freshener three times and that will get you the does this bug you achievement for another 60 G's. And then to end this scene, we need to open the glove compartment, pick up the phone, and we're going to mash the A button to send and read some texts, which will initiate some dialogue. Are you sending text Completing that will get us the Are We There Yet achievement for 50 Gs. Mom. My now starting at the mobile home, we're going to head through the front door. And right in front of you on the floor, you need to pick up and interact with the roller skates. And we're going to press the X button to start a conversation with your mum about them. You used to roll. Mm -hmm. After the convo, we're going to head back out and wrap around to the right. At the back, we can find and interact with this crawl space. The crawl space. So work your way around the crawl space, hugging the left side. And you'll see a hatch we can interact with and climb up. We'll automatically pick up these pieces, so flick through them and press the back button when you can, and then climb up. Once out of there, head into the bathroom. And to the right, we're going to interact and pick up the photo from the mirror and you'll get the Waiter Skater achievement for 60 Gs. Now to the left in the bedroom, after the dialogue, you can find a key to the van on the right unit, so pick that up. This looks like it. Oh, that's the key. Well, well. And then the bottom drawer of this chest of drawers, you'll want to pick up the map. And we're going to press the X button again to have another conversation about it with your mum. So now head outside to the left near this doghouse. We can dig up a box. You ready to you are really we're going to pick up the note inside and press the X button again to speak to your mum about it. And this will get you the do not go gentle into that good nightshade achievement for 90 G's. Once you've got that, we're going to use the key we got earlier on the back of the van. In the glove compartment, you can find and pick up the screwdriver, and then you're good to exit the van. Find anything? Well, now head back out into the mobile home. What's in here? That's just odd.
and we're going to use the screwdriver on the bedroom door opposite the bathroom. What's in here? That was. In here, interact with the desk at the back. Oh, my machine. And then we're going to pick up this tiny note. Press the right bumper to flip it over, and we're going to press the X button to talk to Mum. What's that? What? After that long bit of dialogue, we're going to finish the level by heading back to the car. And finishing that level, you'll get the going mobile achievement for 50 Gs. All right. Uh, this is what? Hotels just like this. Right. But there's a restaurant. I'm gonna head down. I'll be back with some. Well, what do you want to eat? Oh. Um. At the start of the motel level, we're going to pick up our phone from the table and make sure to text Francine. We're going to mash the A button to get through those until we have the text dad option and we can put our phone in our pocket. We're now going to head to the bathroom and in the suitcase we're going to interact with the pill bottle. You're going to press that X button to text Francine about them and that will get you the mother's little helper achievement for 60 G's. And you're going to head back to the table and interact with your bag. And then we're going to interact with your homework. And then after this dialogue, we're going to open the lid to your food. And what we're going to do is we're going to keep pressing that A button on your burger to eat it. And we're going to keep doing it until it's completely gone. And that will get us the clean plate club achievement for 60 Gs. And then we're good to interact with our homework once more. She wants to talk. Hello. Hi, After that dialogue, we can head to the door to find our mum and go to bed. This will end the level and get us the room service achievement for 50 Gs. And Jocelyn is looking at him, and it's so obvious that she forgot her line, and of course she did, because... Uh-huh. And Todd needs to test. There's no achievement in this car section, we just need to open the glove box. And then look at the back seat and interact with your backpack. And then after some dialogue, keep speaking to your mum until the level fades out and finishes. Mom. And once you've completed that, you'll get the Road Warrior achievement for 50 Gs. Starting at the pier then, you're going to follow the dock to the first house. Then look over to the house on the right and press A to speak to your mum. After that, over to the left we can pick up and use this plank to get across. This is so stupid. We're going to open the door to the house, but make your way around the back. Head down the ladder. Through the door and to the back room. To the left in here, behind the bar, you can find and pick up a key. Now head out to the door to your left and up the ladder. Head through the open door and then we can use the key on the door to our left. In here, the first drawer to the desk, we can pick up a letter and press X to speak to mum. And then we can pick up this mailbox key. This could come in handy. So with this key, we're going to head back to the start of this level, as that's where all of the mailboxes are located. Mm -hmm. 
They're located to the left here. You can use your key on the bottom right mailbox and pick up the envelope inside. Press the right bumper to go to the letter and then press X to speak to mum. After some long dialogue, you will get the peer pressure achievement for 50 Gs for finishing that level. And then in the car, all you need to do is speak to mum, get through the dialogue and you'll have the game completed, unlocking your last achievement, the roads less traveled for 100 Gs. Smashing. Thanks so much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick 1000G. If you wanted to help me out and drop a sub on the channel, that would be awesome. I'm trying to hit 3k now, and I'll keep dropping videos like this. Take care guys, and I'll see you in the next one.